Hi, Scott here from Consolidated Sterilizer Systems. Today we're going to talk about two test cycles that are used to ensure that an autoclave is performing properly, the Bowie Dick test and the vacuum leak test. The Bowie Dick test is not a substitute for sterility assurance testing, but it demonstrates proper air removal from the chamber of a pre-vacuum autoclave. Pockets of cool air act as a barrier that prevents steam from penetrating the load. This means that air must be removed by a vacuum. Boedic test packs use small disposable packs made from thermochromatic paper sandwiched between porous substrates and reticulated foam. Before running a Boedic test, it is important to run a warm-up cycle in the autoclave first. This will remove any residual air in the plumbing of the autoclave and ensure that the chamber and jacket are fully up to temperature. To run the test, place a pack in the empty chamber in the lowest shelf above the drain, the coldest point in the chamber, and initiate the Boedic cycle. The sterilization cycle consists of three to four pre-vacuum pulses before reaching the set point of 270 degrees Fahrenheit. The thermochromatic paper inside the pack will indicate if steam has penetrated the porous load. A buoy dick test pack that shows a uniform dark black color pattern indicates a successful vacuum and full steam penetration. No change or partial color indicates an unsuccessful test cycle. This cycle can be performed daily or less frequently depending on your facility's needs and standard operating procedures. If the Bowie Dick test fails, both the autoclave and the laboratory facility utilities should be checked. Any pre-vac cycles should not be used until the test is repeated with the passing result. Now let's switch gears and talk about the vacuum leak test. This test is used to determine the airtight integrity of a pre-vacuum autoclave's chamber and plumbing system. The test exposes the autoclave's plumbing and components to vacuum conditions and measures how much vacuum depth is lost over a given period of time. A typical vacuum leak test cycle will consist of three vacuum and pressure pulses followed by a 15 minute dwell period of deep vacuum. When the cycle is complete, a leak rate will be displayed on the autoclave's control screen in units such as millimeter of mercury per minute. The pass-fail criteria for a vacuum leak test is ultimately determined by the specifications of the user, but industry standards call for an average leak rate of one millimeter of mercury per minute or less. The frequency of the test depends on the facility's standard operating procedures and risk tolerance. Regularly performing a vacuum leak test allows greater confidence in the integrity of the chamber and plumbing. Laboratory autoclaves are calibrated when they're installed, but it's important to periodically ensure that they are operating properly. The Bowie Dick test and vacuum leak test are simple operational checks that you should incorporate into your SOPs. And that's it. If you have questions about either of these tests, talk to a sterilization specialist at Consolidated Sterilizer Systems today.